Hey there, welcome to the channel once again. So the question, as it is mentioned in the title as well, which language do you think in? Right? Now most people, if you ask them, they would say that they think in the language, which is their mother tongue, and then they translate what they think into the language in which they are supposed to deliver and then they deliver it it happens with most of the people right as in my case i can say that when i speak in english i think in english when i speak in bengali i think in bengali when i think in Hin when i speak in hindi i think in hindi and i deliver it accordingly it's the case for me but what i want to discuss here is there is a catch to this right now, have you noticed one thing, and I'm referring to those people who have been speaking English for quite some time and they have a decent fluency like me, decent fluency, decent knowledge of the language. It is easier to speak, you know, in pure English than to speak in, for example, pure Bengali, right? Why is it a thing? That's because we have been conditioned to believe that, not to believe, we are kind of trained that we do use English words while we are speaking the language. I'll take Bengali as an example. And again, call it a result of colonialization or a result of globalization, whatever. We use English words when we are speaking even our mother tongue, mostly. And that's why, you know, many times I try to speak in pure Bengali, for example, even with my family members, my mother, father, grandparents, with my friends, I try to speak in the pure language because I want to do it that way. I want to properly develop that kind of expertise in my language. But as a result, what happens, you know, I do succeed in most of the cases. In some of the cases, I would be speaking and suddenly I'll ask the other person, hey, what is this called in Bengali? And if the other person knows, I'll say, acha, this. Otherwise, I'll say, okay, I'll note it down. I'll check the meaning for this later. I do this. Or sometimes neither of us have any idea of what that word is because we have always used English to describe that word, right? And also, when I'm trying to, suppose now I'm speaking in English, my speed is high. I'm speaking in pure English. I'm not using a Bengali word or a Hindi word or a Sanskrit word. My speed is quite decent, right? But if I try to speak in pure English, sorry, pure Bengali or pure Hindi, the speed of my speech will be considerably slower than what it normally is when I speak with English words engraved in them. Engraved in them? I used the wrong word here, but okay. I should say, like those who, those who have read semiconductors, we have some holes within the electrons. Okay, whatever, I'll not divert from the concept. So, when I say that while speaking in Bengali, I think in Bengali, do I completely think in Bengali? No. That's because those very commonly used English words which I, or which we, in general, are habituated to use with our Indian language, when I think I would actually be including those English words in my thought process and my brain would give that out to me. And when I try to speak in complete pure Bengali, I will have to translate those words into Bengali. And that's how the speech slows down, right? And for people who completely, for example, think in Bengali, then slowly translate and then they start speaking in English, it would be separate. That would be even slower, probably, depending on the expertise and the practice, the exposure, the experience, 
I spelled a lot of E words here. Okay. So that's the point. So I re ask. Is it a word? Re ask. We can put a re in front of anything, I guess. I re ask you the question which language do you think in while speaking in a particular language? Do share down your experience in the comments section below. And also tell me this what do you feel? Should we try to, you know, master a pure form of our Indian language? Or do you feel that, well, language is just a medium? Who cares? Or how does that even matter if you are using uh, English words in between a language? What do you think? Do write down your uh, thought process, how you think, and the question as well in the comment section down below that's it for this video it's a short one so thanks for watching so see ya in the next one